Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we are outside Bullpen Luxury Bar. Bullpen Luxury Bar and Grill to do their Bullpen Burger Challenge. So what I know about this burger challenge, you have 45 minutes to complete it. Um, it is gonna be a burger and a fries. It is a stacked burger. That's about it. I don't exactly know how big it is. I heard some people say it was like three and a half pounds. Then I heard maybe that was just three pounds of meat. Uh, but anyway, we'll go in, we'll find out. Uh, should be fun. Wish me luck, and uh, I think if we complete the meal, it is free, and you get a t-shirt, and if you do not complete the meal, I believe it's about 20 bucks, so it's very affordable, whatever it is. So let's head on in, see what we can do, get some more info, and let's eat some food. Hi everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Uh, looks really good. So basically, um, 45 minutes to eat this burger. Otherwise it's 25, or otherwise it's 20 dollars. So yeah, basically let's get started here just momentarily. Looks all right. All right, let's get started. We'll save the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's uh, let's go. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Bullpen, yes that's right, Bullpen Luxury Bar and Grill here doing their Bullpen Burger Challenge. So a pretty straightforward burger challenge, um, and I would kind of say like the epitome of the American Burger Challenge. So we have a 20 minute time limit, so a short time limit, and a burger which has three pounds of beef being six half pound patties. Then there is a whole bunch of cheese on each patty. We then have a whole bunch of bacon, you have your lettuce, you have tomatoes, pretty much all the traditional toppings and whatnot all on the burger itself, um, plus a side. Um, now you could have like normal french fries, um, I went with sweet potato fries just by preference, but you did have a couple options there. Uh, with the burger itself, um, they were the burgers were cooked like on a uh, grill, like charbroiled burgers, so you kind of get that grill flavor on them, um, but overall it was tasting very solid. I to find out how often somebody beats it. Of course, I also had my friend Mr. Ketchup with me, um, not only for flavor preference and taste, but having any condiment to add a little bit of lubricity, a little bit of moisture to everything does help it go down, make everything a little easier to eat. Um, now, when it came to this challenge, they didn't know if there was like a record, they didn't know how many people completed it, how many failed. <laughs> So it sounded like there were definitely some attempts, and I know that they said that this was kind of like their new challenge. It sounded like they previously had an older burger challenge, um, which they defunct and got rid of, and that one sounded like it was a bigger like diameter burger, like one with a more like single patty, big diameter, um, and they transitioned to the stack burger, um, to which, like I said, it sounded like they had some people try it, some people beat it, um, but like I said, no uh, knowledge of a record or anything like that. <laughs> We were here really, really late, and obviously, um, like they had live music going, and like the, it was like you know like a bar, restaurant, bar, um, so it was loud. Um, so obviously, we have uh, some of the voiceover, but anytime it does cut to the actual audio in the restaurant, you can kind of hear kind of what we were with or working with. Um, but that being said, like you know, like I said, all the food tasted good. The staff were friendly. Um, it kind of like just all worked out. Um, it's definitely a small town, pretty cool place though. The bar itself was pretty nice. I could definitely see like, you know, if you wanted to hang out, they did have a patio, etc. Um, but that's pretty much that. I mean, it's again, pretty straightforward burger challenge. I would call this a uh, kind of beginner intermediate level. 
and um, the fact that it's not a huge amount of food by any means, but you do only have 20 minutes, uh, which uh, is, is a little bit of difficulty, that's for sure. Um, you did not need prior notice to come try the challenge. If you want to try it, you just go in and do it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Um, hey, if you like it so far, hit that like button and comment down below. Let me know what you think and hit that subscribe button. I always appreciate you guys. Really appreciate the support. Like seriously, you guys are amazing. So with that, let's tune on in, see what happens, get to the rest of this, and uh, well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what happens. And we get a sweet t-shirt. All right, and we are downtown Indianapolis. That's right, Indianapolis, Indiana. It's a big, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful building. Um, we are just making a quick 
stop through today. I will be back in this area. So, pretty cool. Um, but nonetheless, this is, that's, what the heck is that? I had no clue what that is, but that's a freaking awesome looking building. Oh, the Indiana World War Memorial. Dude, that is an impressive memorial. That is awesome. Um, I think they call uh, Indianapolis, or not, well, obviously they call it Indy. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, it's, uh, what's their slogan? It's something like the, is it the stepping stone of America or something along those lines? Here we have another big, crazy architecture building of some sort, which hopefully we will see what that is after the light. This person's turning, so let's get on over her. Maybe we'll be able to see. Um, we have the uh, office, uh, first office and courthouse, so definitely a great big one. Here we have this famous statue in the middle of a street. Uh, not exactly sure what it is, but I know that's like the, one of the most famous, if not the most famous, Indianapolis kind of sights slash picture thing. Here we got some uh, handlebar indie, so some bike tours. No, those are bike bars. Bike bars? Okay, so you drink and hang out on that. Uh, this looks like it is called the... Uh, this looks like a war memorial as well, actually. I see you talking about the Indian and British War, the war with Mexico. Um, and yeah, it looks really interesting. Great big statue depicted 1865, so I'm assuming that's when it was uh, erected. Um, but yeah, let's drive up this thing. Obviously, there's people getting pictures with it because it is, again, probably the most famous thing with uh, Indianapolis. Here's uh, another church building. Yeah, this little square, this is a very famous square. This is like uh, whenever I see pictures of Indianapolis, this is what I see. So let's, uh, let's get out and try to see this big thing. And here we have the memorial. This thing is absolutely giant. It is very, very impressive. It's crazy to see the different architecture, not only like even on the lamp posts, but obviously we have so many individuals depict it uh, from different wars, from different eras on the statue itself. Um, so yeah, let's check this out. This is, this is crazy. And there's pools, and it's actually called the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. That's what it is called. So, very, very, very impressive. We have uh, Lady Liberty there, even. So yeah, this is definitely, uh, I think, a sight to be seen when in Indianapolis. This is, uh, this is really cool. Let's go have a look, maybe, from, from down here. But yeah, this is, this is impressive. And here it says the Living Monuments. The monument celebrates the courage of living U.S. veterans, nearly 400,000 of whom reside in Indiana. Step up to honor those who have stood for our country and then post a photo tag, Living Monument Indy, to generate a contribution to the Indiana War Memorial Foundation. We'll do that. And it was carved from solid Indiana limestone and they were donated by whatever, whatever. Beautiful. Here's down from below. Again, just like exquisite and pretty crazy, pretty crazy. And here we got some more of the downtown. So again, definitely some kind of older buildings, um, but all looking really, really nice. So first impressions of Indy, although it has admittingly only been a moment. Uh, beautiful, old, pretty hot today. It's probably sitting almost coming on 100 degrees. Um, so yeah, but uh, it's cool. I was gonna see a little bit more of it. Just a little bit, like I said, we're just kind of popping through today. But no complaints. Definitely cool, and lots of music. But we got heard quite a bit of music everywhere, and it's all very beautiful. And here we have what must be, I don't know what it is, I'm gonna guess some kind of Capitol building or something, but again, very big, very beautiful. Crazy architecture. India is definitely a pretty cool spot. Uh, but yeah, definitely, like I said, definitely a hot one today, so, but very beautiful. I like it, and honestly, I'll take the heat. I will take 100 degrees, over 30 degrees. George feels very differently. I'll, I'll take the opposite, bro. There you go.
Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.